All right, welcome back. Um, these are my four new 240 watt panels that I put up last Sunday during that hailstorm. Um, and then two days ago, uh, I was at I was at work and in Oklahoma City, and I live in Norman, so the um, tornado warnings went off, and so we were able to go home early, so I got home right at the time when the tornado hit more, um, and just... just devastating it's crazy there uh, thoughts and prayers definitely go out to those people and more um, but one of the things I did do when the storm came is put up they have to excuse the air traffic there's all kinds of helicopters and planes going over um, is I put chicken wire over it just to protect it give it a little bit of protection from hail. Uh, thank God the uh, storm, it didn't produce much hail, not nearly as much as it did uh, the previous Sunday. Um, however, be that as may, that's now, I'm up on the roof obviously, um, my pergola is now shaded and there's no more room for panels. I guess I'm gonna have to expand down in the in the yard. Regardless, uh, let's see what it looks like in uh, the garage. All right, so in the garage, I've made a couple changes. Um, so I have my two different solar panels. So I didn't want to try to mix and match those. That's a big no-no. I'll talk about the blinking light here in a little bit. So what I did was I bought a cheap 30 amp charge controller off eBay. I think it was like 40 bucks or something, which is this guy right here, um, which I'm actually pretty pleased with. Let's see, that's my 14.9 volts temperature. That's the amperage. It's on a float right now um, because I'm equalizing my batteries. Amp hours, I set it up to 15.0 volts so I could uh, equalize the batteries. I wanted to get higher than that, but it's not allowing me. But that's okay. And you can set your load on and off and times go off and all kinds of stuff. So, um, my old panels, my 100 watt panels are controlled by that, and I used, which my 100 amp panels are on the right hand side up there in that rat's nest, so I still have to put some conduit up there and close that up. I just finished this um, last weekend, and for the my Morningstar, that's what I'm hooking up my new, the 240 watt panels um, to this which you can see and I took the front off so I could hit the equalize button that's why it's out and blinking so I'm at 15.1 volts for my bank and 28 amps um, that got up as high as 35 amps, which I was very pleased about. Um, and actually, sitting here listening, I can hear the batteries bubbling. And so this is the first time I've actually had enough juice to equalize them naturally without you know artificially doing it. So I'm very pleased with that, and um, let's see, it took, today's also the first sunny day we've had since I've put the panels up, 
So that was the first time I've been able to test my um, my four new ones. So I'm getting around. Oh, let's see, right at a kilowatt between the two, since I am charging a 12 volt um, battery bank. I need to up that to 24 to really take advantage of my uh, new panels. Also, these are PWM chargers. They're not MPPT chargers. So I am getting uh, my new charger doesn't like that it's going over the 15 volts. Um, so my next step is to hopefully up my battery bank to 24 volts. I need to, I'm looking at getting six more batteries and also possibly get some more panels and MPPT uh, controller for those new panels, but we'll see. Right now, this is pretty rock solid as far as what I've seen. We'll see what kind of um, performance I get after equalizing. We'll top them off with some water, my batteries, and see what kind of performance we get for the rest of the week. Uh, I was kind of taking it easy on the whole system recently because it's been so rainy and cloudy and stormy. Um, but now I should, after this equalization, be able to run it full speed ahead. So, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching.